In the past couple of years, a succession of European missions has been sent out to explore the planets of our solar system. A huge amount of new information is becoming available, unique information. But how to analyse this new data in the most efficient way? How to take full advantage of the new and exciting opportunities to learn about the planets from this data? How to organise the human and technical resources that exist across Europe? and how to unite and develop the growing European planetary science community. Through the Research Infrastructure Actions, part of the sixth framework programme of the European Commission, the European Planetology Network is now a reality. Europlanet was launched on January the 1st, 2005, with financial support secured for a four-year period. Europlanet's goals are to unite the European planetary science community, to increase its productivity and ability to compete, as well as to educate and involve the European public in solar system exploration. Europlanet is initially focused on the Cassini-Huygens mission to the Saturnian system. Naturally, activities related to other missions are being included with time. Europlanet is built around two lines of networking activities. The first line addresses the scientists directly by stimulating closer collaboration between people from different fields of expertise, all contributing to planetary sciences. The personnel exchange activity allows individual scientists to do one-week visits to other institutions across Europe to initiate and fortify collaborations. The Discipline Working Groups activity organises interdisciplinary working groups. Scientists from different fields gather for several days on a regular basis to define and discuss the most important scientific questions and how to organise the community to tackle them. The Meetings activity is in charge of organising large meetings. The first International European Planetary Science Congress took place in September of 2006 in Berlin. It was a tremendous success, and the experience will be continued in the coming years. The coordinated Earth-based and space-based observations activity stimulates interaction between Earth-based observers, both professional and amateur, and those who analyse space mission data. Because the two types of data are highly complementary, science return is maximised for both sides. The second line of networking activities concerns the design and development of a so-called Integrated and Distributed Information Service, or IDIS for short. IDIS is the route towards a true virtual planetary observatory. Once implemented, IDIS will allow scientists to access a large number of complementary datasets simultaneously. Finally, Increasing public awareness and providing education about the solar system is the public face of the project. Europlanet is already a success, with hundreds of scientists from over 60 different institutes and space agencies from almost 20 European countries participating in the project. Due to this success, a new proposal is now being prepared to continue the network after 2008.